everybody. I'm still out here in the garage and I've switched over from my coffee to my bubbly now. And uh, I don't drink soft drinks anymore. So I'm kind of switched over to these. Been drinking these for a couple years. And uh, I think the old cat here is trying to sneak in on that. He always gets in on my coffee. So I'm going to get him out of the way and get my bubbly out of the way. And, uh, you know, I was over at uh, Matt's page at Model Car Videos. And uh, he had a nice haul from Hobby Lobby where he was picking up some models over there for $7.49. So I made a run to Hobby Lobby and, and uh, bought a couple things. And uh, I didn't get those kind of prices, but uh, I did get uh, one model for $17.99 and one for $16.99. And then I bought a 2mm uh, tip Molotov pen for $11.99. Thought I would give that a shot out. So that pretty much busted a $50 bill. All right, here's the first kit that I bought. Y'all know these. We use these for uh, the chassis, just like we do the 66 Chevy Nova Pro Street. We use a chassis for that, and that's what I'm putting underneath my 63 Chevy 2 wagon right now is this chassis off of this 66 Nova. But uh, the chassis out of this one is going underneath my 55. So I bought this kit. They had three of them over. I should have probably should have bought all three for the 40 percent off but i just bought this one and you know what since i'm kind of into the pro street kick and this is a pro street i might just build this one as it's supposed to be instead of you know robbing parts out of it so i picked that one up yep i like those that's good buy. they didn't have this one over there they're, they're always sold out a bit more than they are this one but i bought this one now I know there's issues with this, with that, getting that hood to line up with the body and everything, because there's always an issue how it fits right here and things, so I know there's issues with it. Well, hell, there was issues with this 51 Henry J that I put together, but I worked through it, so I guess I can work through this one, too, so we'll see what happens. That's down the line somewhere, and I bought this, uh, here's that Molotov pin I bought. Uh, this is a two millimeter tip $11.99 for that and I you know I normally use the uh, I've got the one millimeter tip ones here and that's what I always use and I, mainly I use that for like on the dash for the uh, radio knobs and things like that you know and uh, maybe a little touch up on bumpers and things uh, but that's about all I use them for but uh, you know I've been having so much trouble with the uh, with the uh, uh, bare metal foil and I've heard guys that are using these. I don't have that steady of a hand, but I might try this and see if I can't do the uh, some trim with it. Uh, I, kn I knew right off the bat that this one millimeter tip pin, it, that slides off pretty easy. So um, I'm thinking what, what I read online there that the guys are using these uh, two millimeter and maybe even up to the four millimeter, but I thought I'd give it a shot and see if I can get anything to work as far as chrome. I've got an old body I can practice with. I got this old body here. <clears throat> I can practice on some of the chrome there and see how it works, you know, because this is just a test body anyway. I'm planning on uh, doing some paint testing on this this summer, so uh, I'll give it a shot and see what happens, you know. <clears throat> anything anything to help out so anyway that uh that was my uh haul from hobby lobby you know about an hour ago they had a few other kits over there that i really kind of liked but you know uh, <clears throat> there's some better ones that i'm really looking to get i want to get me a 32 ford uh, i really like those i've got a 40 ford and a 37 but i want to get me a 32 i'm gonna have to get that offline somewhere i'll have to buy that from somebody uh, when I can find me a good price. And I really want to get a 37 Ford pickup too because uh, I used to have a one-to-one -one 37. And that's a picture of it right there. Uh, wife and I called it the Slimer because it was about the same color as the Slimer off the Ghostbusters. But that was a 37 Ford. Uh, that had a high horsepower engine, 400 horse engine in it. Uh, uh, Muncie, four-speed rock crusher, 411 gears, and an ass in. We called it our city truck because it wasn't worth a shit on the highway. But anyway, I uh, just want to show everybody my haul from Hobby Lobby. 
and that's what I got and we'll see how the Molotov pin goes on the chrome and uh, if it goes well on a test I may try to do that on that 55 Pro Street and see what happens. Alright fellas that's about it. I'm out.